Okay, <laughs> I have actually hooked up my old iPod and I've transferred a lot of uh, tape images as WAF files to this iPod. And um, yeah, it's connected in the over the audio in. So currently I'm loading the 128K version of Elite. And the good thing about it is actually when using something like the iPod, you can actually see how much longer the loading time will be. And uh, yeah, I just connected it up over RF on this uh, Philips television uh, with my Sinclair joystick. It works. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked uh, by this machine. Uh, I am getting a 3-inch uh, floppy containing CPM from Mark uh, UK Retro Games. He was uh, he's kind enough to send it to me, so I can so I'm able so I am able to test out the floppy drive. But uh, yeah, halfway through the load of uh, of Elite, and uh, yeah. Pretty stoked about uh, getting uh, this machine. Um, probably have to set it up on a desk somewhere to really use it. And um, it's it's a nice machine. And uh, uh, what <laughs> what happens a lot is if if I type type on these keys, I think uh, this is the cue, but it, it's not. It's all shifted down. Uh, a bit and so I end up typing uh, I, I think this should be one but it that, that's actually uh, the key uh, number one so everything is shifted around a bit on this keyboard and uh, so it takes a little uh, getting used to so even though it says Sinclair it, this is actually the Amstrad version of uh, the Spectrum let me see if uh, it'll load in properly uh, using an MP3 player uh, or even MP3 files, I actually use uh, use a WAV files because MP3 doesn't cut it. Uh, some bytes get lost or something. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, using an MP3 player, you really need to make sure that the uh, the volume the volume out that goes into your uh, Sinclair is actually high enough. Uh, because otherwise the programs just won't load and uh, the system just w will not recognize the uh, magnetic pulses. Um, yeah, um, sadly, or sadly, even though this system sp sports a 9-pin joystick ports, it only uses a propri proprietary joystick. Of course, Sinclair being Sinclair, or Amstrad being Amstrad, uh, why the hell would you do that? <laughs> do that? But they did, so you can only use this and not uh, any other 9-pin uh, 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 joystick. And um, it's a shame that they didn't put a, a fire button over here, but just on top of the handle. But um, let me see. Oh, it's supposed 15 seconds. So let me see if, if this turns out to be a load error or a proper load. Tape loading error. Well, <laughs> it doesn't work for all games, but this this is something you you would uh, often uh, often get um, in real life. You know, loading a spectrum tape into the machine. So, yeah. Well. Okay, using this type of software, K7ZX. Um, make TZX. Okay, so we're about tape to WAV, which is a very important one. Uh, top, top so yeah, this works. And I don't think this is the 128K version because but these, hardly but especially change. this one, this this software allows you to uh, to transfer um, uh, spectrum so snapshot files to uh, or, uh, to uh, a web WAV file. That you can load into your real spectrum. So yeah, that's that's what the, that's oh, the well. software that so I use. So it, it loads in to, uh, games quite quite to download, uh, to, to convert uh, spectrum snapshots formats or tape image formats into uh, regular web files uh, to be used on a real genuine spectrum like like this one. Okay. 
so what else did I do? I actually hooked up my iPod Mini and I've also got another one um, and uh, I I created a lot of playlists, whoops, artists, uh, so original um, uh, original Spectrum uh, 128 uh, games, ZX demos, original speed, ZX ori originals, snapshots, fast loading, and I just press play, and you see the progress bar, and I just hook it up with this thingy, audio out, audio in into the spectrum, so um, sadly this this using this device it gives load errors probably because the uh, um, yeah the sound sig the, the signal isn't that clear or perhaps the volume is a bit too low this is actually uh, an excellent uh, iPod for using this uh, and here I have tape files uh, all sorts of files uh, that I'm loading into this spec <laughs> probably get a lot of uh, bad rap for this but yeah I've hooked it up on on this television just because my cameras uh, pick up on this screen on the LCD screen a lot better than they do on a CRT and of course I mean this system is best used on a CRT um, I'm copying over the last of the files to my iPod sadly this this won't work it's a bigger one it's a four gigabyte uh, one but uh, the volume is just too low for it to work properly so that is a shame uh, this 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 iPod is actually this iPod Nano is actually working quite well so let me eject that like so becomes available so the, the funny thing is whoops the funny thing is if I select music and then for example artists I can I have a, a, a grouping of various let me see if this I have a grouping of various um, types of files that are on there I've got fast loading snapshots whoops got fast loading snapshots, I've got TZX originals, so these basically are clo as close as original tapes as they can be, ZX Spectrum demos, ZX games, and 128K originals. So let's try out one of these fast loading snapshots. Uh, let me see. And they load, really they load within 20, 20 seconds or something. Uh, let me see, Miss Pac-Man or something. Ah, here it is. So, I just press, oops, I just press enter to activate the loader and I press play. And I make sure that the, uh, the audio is set to, uh, to the highest standard. So, and this really is a very, very high speed fast loading um, thing, fast loading routine. Most of them load in pretty okay. So this is just a frozen spectrum game, which will just resume after loading is finished. But the thing is, there are some, some problems. Um, there's graphical errors and stuff, so I mean, ah, here it is. Uh, so the ZX Spectrum interface, so I press the Z, and I use my joystick, and I say start. And as you can see, whoops, <laughs> so I've actually selected uh, Bobby Baring, which was a TZX uh, file, which is about a quarter into, uh, into the loading, uh, so the special fast loading tapes, they do work as well, um, and uh, we have a smooth going thing going on and a 
counter that's going backwards and if it reaches zero then the game will, will have loaded so I'll be back in a sec <laughs> still going strong 182 or something so it's about 36 seconds to go So this is an alternative loading. Most of the time you'll have uh, flashing bars and stuff, but uh, but this game will just uh, yeah, have this specialized loader. A lot of the Commodore 64 games uh, used similar alternative tape loading techniques. Uh, often they were used to uh, prevent people from copying uh, the code. So I'm curious what will happen. Looky here. It works. So let me select a joystick. Ah, Sinclair joystick. Okay. Press fire. And here we have the wonderful game of Bobby Barry. So this is a successful load. Let me show you. Some. Yeah, and of course. Of course, you, you need to use the Spectrum on the CRT, but you know, this, um, <laughs> this is okay. Let's check out the following, which is Arkanoid 2, 128K. So, I'll just press Enter, and then the loader starts, and I press Play, and it'll just start loading. Arkanoid 2. So, it's really weird. Files played from this um, work, and the files played from this give load errors. <laughs> and loading is 3 minutes and 41 seconds left. So, this also moves into an alternative load. It's always uh, <coughs> quite scary. You never know if it's going to work or not. It just is not working at all. Hello. Hello. God. I just hate this camera. <laughs> Ah, looky here. Arkanoid, Revenge of Da. Two minutes, 52 seconds left. Which is just about right. <laughs> Says uh, the same amount of time uh, on, on, the, on the iPod. So you can actually use a, an iPod as a solid state storage device, uh, loading games into. Uh, into your uh, in your spectrum, and this is actually a 128k version. So uh, yeah, curious whether or not this will load. Uh, like I said, this gave me huge load errors all the time. Uh, running a cable directly from my speakers into the um, Sinclair also gave uh, load errors, and using this um, iPod Nano. Um, works for me. Uh, on the internet there's there's people who had um, different experiences, various experiences with other uh, cheap mp3 players. It seems that quite a few of these actually work quite well. And uh, yeah, this must be, <laughs> this, this really must be horrible. Okay, I'll, I'll get back when uh, when the game is loaded or when the game has failed to load. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, so we're about So yeah, this works. And I don't think this is the 128k version because it hardly produces any any sound. So, I guess ah
Oh well. So it, it loads in games quite quite nicely.